Hey friends, this is AK Valia and today we're going to talk about Zoom versus Skype versus Hangouts and we are going to compare these three softwares across a host of different factors and we are going to pick a software that is the best software for video conferencing. If you like my content, please hit the like button and hit the bell notification icon so that you guys can keep updated on the content that I am posting. Let's get straight into this. So the method that I will be using is I will be giving you a different list of factors that I use to evaluate all these three softwares, which is Zoom, Skype and Google Hangouts and then we'll be taking a holistic point of view across all factors and picking our winner across all the three. So the first factor that I want to talk to you about is ease of access and integrations. For Zoom, you don't need an account to access it. You can access Zoom via a 9 to 11 digit meeting ID and a URL that is automatically generated uh, by the host. They can send it to you across any medium such as email and you can just click on that link or enter the 9 to 11 meeting 9 to 11 digit meeting ID and enter the meeting. Zoom has major integration supported with all the softwares. So uh, there's nothing to worry about there. As far as Skype is concerned, there is a sign in and registration required to attend the meeting. So you have to have a Microsoft account to be able to attend a Skype meeting. So that is a disadvantage of Skype that is there. But as Zoom, Skype also has all major integration supported, especially with Microsoft apps such as PowerPoint, uh, Outlook and Excel. It has native integration supported. As far as Google Hangouts are, is concerned, it is a super easy software to use. You can access a Google Hangout meeting using a link that can be sent to you via any medium. The next factor that I'm going to talk about is probably one of the most important factors and is the which is the functionality of these three softwares and the functions that these three softwares provide to users. So for Zoom, we have a lot of functions that it provides. Some of the important functions are there are a hundred members in a single call uh, that can attend the meeting. There is a web recording function for uh, for recording your meetings that some of your participants may not be able to attend and you want to share that meeting. So you can just hit on the web recording and it will record the meeting. It has a whiteboard feature which you can use to explain something to participants graphically. Uh, it is just a feature like paint which you can use to explain uh, something which is not so easily understood. And you also have a share screen feature where you can share your screen and the participants can see uh, what is exactly happening on your screen. If you want to show them a video or a presentation. There are also breakout rooms uh, in Zoom. So if you want your participants to break into group of, of, of people and work on something, this is a great feature to use, especially uh, I have seen this feature used by teachers uh, and online instructors who give online lessons. So they generally break up their uh, whole class into groups of participants, which then work on a group project. It also has a functionality of virtual background. So what you can do in Zoom is you can change your background uh, and you can upload a background of your choice. So what that does, it hides your original background if you don't want to show it to the participants and you your video is on. Apart from that, Zoom also has other collaborative tools like raise hands where participants can raise hands if they have a doubt. Uh, you have a private chat function where participants can chat with each other privately. You have a gallery view wherein you can see the list of all participants or the photos of all participants in one single view. You can join by telephone 
What that means is even if you don't have a smartphone or no access to any laptop or any other smart device, what you can do is you can just dial in a number that is given with every Zoom meeting and you can attend the call. Zoom also has simultaneous screen share where multiple participants can share their screens at one time and a remote control functionality where someone can control another person's laptop or device if they're having problems doing so. As far as Skype is concerned, you can have up to 50 members in a single call. You can have a chat function separately. You can have a call function separately. You can have the web recording, whiteboard, screen share features, which are the same as in Zoom. You have a blur background feature, which is a little different than the Zoom feature. So in this feature, you can blur your background instead of changing it which has the same function of hiding your surroundings. Skype meetings have no time limit and one feature which is useful in Skype is live subtitles and which, uh, which is particularly useful if you're uh, having calls across time zones and uh, with people speaking different languages. So let's say if I have a person who is speaking German at the other end, uh, it will be automatically translated to English and it will shown to me and it will be shown to me on my uh, on my Skype screen in, in English. As far as Google Hangouts is concerned, you can have up to 25 members in a single call. You have the chat function, the call function, which is the same as Skype. You can share your screen and you don't have any time limit on the calls. So feature wise, I would say that Zoom is the most feature-rich software available. The next factor which I want to talk to you about is video quality as we are trying to pick the best video and web conferencing software. So Zoom has a very good video quality. You can have calls in it in HD and the, and the connectivity of the calls is also great. For Skype, I would say that it is average. It has been a lot of time that I've been using Skype, uh, but I usually face uh, disconnections if my net connection goes down or if my net speed, internet speed is slow, then I usually face issues like freezing of screen or disconnecting of the call. As far as Google Hangouts is concerned, I have considered uh, I have been I have been facing no issues with Google Hangout video calls and I would rate the video quality of Google Hangouts calls at par with Zoom video calls. The next factor that I want to talk to you about is the pricing. So for the pricing, Zoom has a basic free version. The only caveat in that free version is you can have a call only for 40 minutes so you will be able to access all the functions that i have mentioned in the uh, above above uh, row but you will only be able to access the call till 40 minutes but if you want to upgrade you can upgrade for 20 dollars uh, per user and with that you will you can uh, have calls for 24 hours uh, which I doubt anyone will want to have. So upgrading removes the problem of time limit. As far as Skype is concerned, it is free, but a subscription is required if you want to call other participants or other uh, other colleagues on your team. And it, it the call cost varies uh, on the on the country that you're calling to. As far as Google Hangouts is concerned, it is the basic software is again free, but if you want to add more users, you can pay $7.8 per month and have up to 100 users in your call. And you also have, then have access to other G, uh, G Suite apps. The last factor that I want to talk to you about is security. So security wise, Zoom has been average so with the recent increase in Zoom calls and the popularity of Zoom, there has been a plethora of security issues such as Zoom bombings. And uh, there in the security factor, Zoom lacks a little. 
for Skype as it is a Microsoft owned application it is it has an end-to-end -end encryption and it is pretty good when it comes to security and I would rate Google Hangouts at par with the security of Skype as it is a Google software and also has uh, enterprise grade security so I would say that zoom is the loser here while Skype and Google Hangouts are at par so these are the diff diff different factors on which I have tried to rate the three softwares which are zoom Skype and Google Hangouts and now for the verdict who wins so as you could see someone was the winner and someone was the loser on the different factors that I have taken into account so there is no one clear winner however it depends on the function that you are trying to use the software for and I will be able to give some specific recommendations based on the function of the software that you're trying to use so Zoom, Zoom has advantages like high and easy accessibility. So you can access Zoom meetings via a URL or a meeting ID. It is the best software for video conferencing. And if you're a teacher or an online instructor, you can use Zoom for that, which, is, which will be best for you at, as it has a lot of functions like breakout rooms, raising hands, remote control functionality and multiple screen sharing and also it is suitable for medium and large organizations because they also need these features it is feature rich and the basic free version has up to 100 participants if you upgrade you can also increase these participants up to a thousand so in the uh, in the most upgraded version of zoom you can have up to a thousand participants in one call which is great if you're a large organization or if you're a teacher who is teaching a large class the disadvantages of zoom are that it is slightly expensive as compared to skype or google hangouts and it has some security issues such as uh, zoom bombing or zoom trolling and if you want to use zoom there are some ways in which you can make your zoom meeting more secure uh, what i have done is i have given you a link on the right top hand screen uh, of the of this video and if you will click on that right now you will be able to see the different ways and the different tips that you can use to make your zoom meetings more secure for skype the advantages are it is a holistic software which also has the chat function and the call function along with the video conferencing function and if you want to use this software the best users for the software are small and medium organizations because it only has up to a 50 users that can use an attend a meeting advance apart from that some disadvantages are average video quality and frequent freezing and disconnecting of calls and another thing that I would want to uh, put in notice here is Microsoft is now focusing uh, on uh, Microsoft Teams as a 360 degree solution for video conferencing calling chatting and collaborating remotely so uh, they are concentrating on that instead of Skype and if you want to check out Teams which is also a very good alternative to uh, Zoom uh, you can click on the top right hand portion of the screen to check out how to do a video call uh, via Microsoft Teams for Google Hangouts the advantages are that it is super easy to use only click a link and get into a meeting and it is uh, and it is very good for people uh, if they want to call their friends or family or if they want to keep their call limited to a small group the disadvantages of google hangouts are that it is not so feature rich so to conclude if you are a teacher or if you're a large organization you can use Zoom 
if you want to have the best video conferencing quality possible then you should use zoom if you want a holistic software having a chat and call functionality with along with video functionality then you can use skype and if you're calling a small group of people or your friends and family and just want to video conference with them you can use google hangouts to know how to make a video call with Google Hangouts and how to use the software, please click on the top right hand portion of the screen where I have given you a tutorial of how to use Google Hangouts. If you like my content, please don't forget to hit the like button and the bell notification icon so that you guys can keep updated on the new content I'm sharing. If you have any problems in using Zoom, Skype or Google Hangouts, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, please share this content if you like it. Signing off, stay safe.